matters. We invest the time to understand. Everything does matter, including what we call things. Now, I grew up in a culture, and some of you grew up in that same culture. Don't be shy. If you know the answer, say it with me. It's not what they call you. It's what? The answer to. It's what you answer to. Right. And so I think it's important that we call it what it is. I'm not a fan of saying uh, diversity. I like inclusion. When I walk into a supermarket, and I had, I had a Nana Gracie, my, one of my husband's relatives who is uh, who, from England. She walked into a supermarket with me, and she comes from a very small village in Yorkshire. And she was amazed at the diversity of products that were offered her. And it took her forever to decide on one, I mentioned toothpaste, one tube of toothpaste. <laughs> when we got to the counter, she had about four things in her basket. Now, that store offered her a variety of options. That's diversity. But what she paid for and walked out with was inclusion. So that's how I look at it. And if you're talking about the question of diversity and inclusion, it's not just a question about women either. It's a question about all of us all of us being included. And depending on where we are in our careers, it can be a different thing to each of us in a different way. So how do you get engaged in it? First, if you have a fair practice of how you're looking at employing, you're gonna gain the diversity from which you will create the inclusion in your organization. Be deliberate about where you're investing your time. You know, um, there are organizations that support that quite phenomenally. Um, many of you are familiar with Weaving, WPO, NMSDC, NGLCC. All of these are organizations that aren't just focused on supplier diversity. They are about helping you to find people as well. But I think that if you want to build a good practice in your own organization, you have to be bold enough to ask your organization where its readiness is. Those same questions I asked you to ask yourself, apply that to your organization. Be bold enough to know the truth about where you want to go. It's one thing to be aspirational about it. It's another thing to be deliberate about it. And your organization can put out beautiful marketing campaigns about your practices of diversity and inclusion. But in this talent war, I'm going to tell you something. These people who you want to hire now are looking at your organization and asking them is what you're selling them true. They look at your leadership. And that tells them how far they can go in your organization about what they see in your upper management.